David Lice, this is RSL Today, and I'm in the studio with my good friend Keith Harrison. How are you, mate? Very well, thanks, David. Thanks for uh, putting the program together. It was really good last week. We, we didn't stop talking. We didn't run out of stuff to talk about. We just didn't get through all the no, stuff we had. No, we've got lots had, more so to just, talk about today. Um, we'll, we'll repeat some of what we mentioned and uh, introduce yeah. some new material. So, look, talk about repeating. What's the phone number? Oh, phone number for RSL South Australia, 8100 7300. Email admin at rslsa.org.au. And where are we? Oh, well, the, we're at uh, the Torrens Training Depot, Torrens Parade Ground, corner of Victoria Drive and King William Road in the city, diagonally opposite uh, Adelaide Oval, directly opposite Elder Park. And it's interesting now, Keith, that not only is there RSL in the building, Air Force Association, Vietnam Vets, but we're now, we've now got Legacy downstairs, and I believe that there's a couple of other people. Frontline Mental Health, Frontline you're mental familiar health. with. Yes, they were very, very good. Uh, and there may be a couple of others moving in too at some stage. In the uh, Invictus are yes, in there. Yes, that's yeah, right. Invictus, so that's... Uh, yeah, so uh, it's... That's good, and of course, we've got the mess, the Combined Ex Services Oh, we're mess. there, yeah. Uh, I believe you had a good session with the Air Force boys a few weeks ago, so <laughs> according to Josh... Yes, uh, they were really good. Jo- and Josh was there, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, they're, they're a lovely bunch. That's a guy called Lobby Usher. Yep. And his, and his group, they're all um, ex, um, well, they're not flyers, but they're maintenance crew, that sort of thing, uh, served out at Edinburgh. And they come in once every two months and they have a ball. Uh, we look after them. And that's and what the mess is there for. So we've yes. got this lovely, comfortable mess with a bar. Open to anyone. Yep. Uh no set specific times. No, ring uh, first. Yep. Uh, uh, ring Air Force Association eight double two seven zero nine eight zero, or make a booking. Hold mm. a hold an event, a book launch, uh, a reunion, even wakes. We've had some wonderful oh. wakes there. It's look, we've got, had art exhibitions yeah, there, uh, book launches. Yes, as you said, wakes two or three wakes. Yeah, uh, um, and there's uh, parties, look, it, it, the birthday parties, parties yeah, yes. birthdays, fiftieth, seventieth, eighteenth. Yeah, so there's plenty of parking on the parade Lots ground. Lots of parking. It's yeah. on the first floor, which is accessible by all um, all means, ramps and uh, elevator. Lovely view. Very well priced drinks, and there's a catering kitchen, a commercial kitchen. A, a very, if you very to good kitchen. Bring a yes. caterer in. And if people are looking at um, utilising the mess for a function, they can they can self cater. They can get their own catering service to come in and use the facilities, um, or they can just. Uh, Ask us to, to sort of look at it as well. Yep. Uh, but, yes, as you said, the drinks are very, very well-priced. We and a, a good range. We have a lovely range of reds and whites because I like reds. And the beers and, and, and it, the softies and yeah. the in-betweens. There's, there's a good selection of, of beers, light, uh, medium, heavy, and no alcohol. Yep. Uh, soft drinks, got a good range of soft drinks as well for, for those people who don't who don't drink alcohol, uh, and it's comfortable. Yep. We can take about 100 people standing, and I think we're licensed for 66, 68 people uh, for seating, seated. seated for a meal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's a lovely, comfortable, there's carpet on the floors, it's the former sergeant's mess, yep. uh, we have, back when the military was there. And we have all the IT tech, we have a projector, have. screen, PA system, um, Big screen. Big screen, yeah, and big TV. We've got everything. Yeah, so if, if you'd like to consider it uh, for an event, the phone Annette on 8227-0980. But only between Monday, on Monday, Wednesday or Friday between 9 and about one thirty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there we go. And I suppose there'll be a, an October lunch, uh, which I haven't really boned up on. But, uh, 18th. Third Wednesday of the month, eighteenth it is, yeah. and I now I'm, I'd like to say I know who the guest is, but I've forgotten. Never mind. No, it, it'll come back to me. Yeah. But yeah, so there you go. So did we finish the numbers and the and the everything like that? I think we did. 
I got as far, I think, as the email, but I didn't mention the website, no, aslsa.org.au, no. which you'll find much of what we talk about on there. And, of course, the social media. Um, great results. Yes. Got a great following in Facebook uh, and on Instagram. So, uh, please, that's where you'll find most of the up-to-date information. Uh, if I put it on the website, it's not automatically seen straight away but it could any items that have to stay there for quite a while and then there's sub branch resources for our rsl sub branches uh, their forms their information there's members information commemoration events mm. and uh, uh, information on that as well as the uh, uh, veteran well-being and advocacy and and i've remembered who our guest speaker is it's commander Emma MacDonald oh, good on Kerr, who is the commanding officer of HMIS Encounter. And it'll be one of her last functions uh, in the mess because she's been posted out. But um, she's graciously consented to come in and, and talk to all our, our guests. Good on her. Oh, she'll, be, so, she'll be amongst friends. Yes, yes. Very, very popular young lady. Good. The uh, David, we briefly touched on the Fort to Fort Remembrance Walk. How about you give us a bit of a refresh on that? This will be the third one. Yes, and they're going. They're getting stronger and stronger each year. Uh, this one uh, is on Sunday, the fifth of November. Uh, it's raising funds for Operation Canine Assistant Dogs Assistance Dogs Program. Put your teeth back in, David, and the Western Region Veterans Centre. Uh, it's organised by Largs Bay RSL and uh, and RS. It is an RSL active event. Um, now, their website, which I don't have, unfortunately, uh, but they also have their website and social media, and you can register online. Yeah, if so, people uh, search for Largs Bay RSL, yes. they'll find that. They can search for Fort, for Fort to Fort Remembrance Walk. They've, it's got its own website and, and the social media as well. So mm. uh, they're inviting registrations. Uh, registra- early registration gets you a T-shirt and then you, you walk as far or as little as, as you wish between Fort Largs and Fort Glanville. Uh, one way, both ways, half a way. <laughs> Take your dog along. It, it's yeah. pet friendly and you might decide to walk along the foreshore or you might decide to I walk along. Hire a scooter. <laughs> yeah, or decide to walk along the footpath and yeah. there'll be catering along the way, catering at the end. Uh, I think it's but they're being helped out by Henley and Grange RSL. Uh, I hope I'm correct there. It's, it's a all for day. a good cause yes. and a lovely day, great camaraderie, and they'll have a bit of an expo uh, there, I think, with the hmm. uh, the tents and displays. Army Museum will be there. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll be very interesting. Speaking of Army Museum of South Australia, it's uh, in the Keswick Barracks. Yes. Just off Anzac Highway, open on uh, Sundays from midday to four, and there's a... Great show, volunteer run. Uh, there's vehicles, uh, artillery, uh, weaponry, uniforms, maps, souvenirs. Medals. Me- oh, medals, of course, the medal and trophy room. And lots of galleries yeah. uh, uh, kitted out in, in various aspects uh, since the Boer War and, in, uh, and even colonial, pre-colonial uh, times as well uh, through to through to present day. So... Um, very, very fair admittance fees. You drive in through the main gate, gate four, at uh, uh, Keswick Army Barracks, so it's just on the outskirts of the city. Uh, plenty of parking, uh, safe, no through, tr- very little through traffic, uh, and plenty to look at. Allow a mm. few hours and uh, come on in. So that's on a Sunday. Look, I think you'll find on their website they may be open some mornings. Uh, and the website is www.amosa.org.au. So that stands for Army Museum of South Australia, hmm. of which I am a guide. Have yep. been, have, I think I'm the longest serving guide there. Good, eh? Haven't woken up to me. <laughs> no, that's all right. You do all right. Um, yeah, so look, mate, we're also getting very, very close to Remembrance Day. My word. But before we talk about Remembrance Day, do you want to talk about the uh, the RSL Breakfast of Remembrance? Because it's a little bit different this yes, year. Yes, I reckon this will be about the fifth. This is interesting, this one. sixth, yes. It'll mm. be at the Drill Hall. So mm. uh, that's in our building, that lovely great big hall with a parquetry floor. Uh, starts at 7, so we're asking people to be there at 6.45. Uh, runs through to probably 8.45, mm. 9 o'clock. Uh, I don't know the re- I don't know the menu, but uh, we've never been let down before, and I don't know the guest speaker, but uh, it's a, a 
Well, it's great, early, early great, days, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, great, great. So it's, uh, oh, I don't even know if I've told people it's on Wednesday the 8th of November, 7 a.m. And uh, uh, they can book online through Try Booking. Uh, I don't know if there's more to it, but if, if you if you look up Try Booking Australia, as I did today several times, found it and you just put in RSL Breakfast of Remembrance 2023 uh, and up it comes. Or you can go to the news section of rslsa.org.au or on Facebook. Um, yeah. Do you have any idea what the cost of the tickets are? Look, I reckon stage? they're around the 70-something dollar mark. Uh, if I was smart enough to be able to call it up on my phone now, I... Uh, no, it was just off the cuff of Yeah. I, I thought you might have known. Uh, tables of eight. Yeah. And we can, we can expand Might on be this. 75 for, uh, yeah. per, per head. Of course, since the last one, we've had a, a few inflationary uh, oh, issues, haven't we? A lot of, yes. And, and you can understand why it's gone up. Um, but uh, it, oh, I've been to three now, and um, I... I Really, really enjoyed two of them. One of them was okay, yeah. but there was a bit of a mix-up there with some organisation. Yeah, and, and that was an but administration it, fault. And not, it wasn't the, the RSL the fault. Venue. No, it wasn't oh, the RSL In a way, well, well, I guess it was the people we uh, farmed out to, um, uh, to organise it that was disappointing. But all the guest speakers are very interesting. And that's, I mean, you're going there to hear the guest speaker. Um, and if they live up to, to the standards, it'll be a very, very Had good some one this year. Perlers, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not to be confused with another service organisation that's holding a breakfast actually the day before Remembrance Day. Uh, we hold ours several days before because, of course, we're flat out as it gets closer to the mm. day. But uh, there's another group. Um, please don't confuse us with those. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, now. Also, now let's, speaking of Remembrance Day, 11th of November. Saturday. Yeah, 11 o'clock. Um, you and I usually end up at the, uh, at the State War Memorial. Uh, and yeah, so it'll kick off there and commence upon the Governor's arrival at 10.45. It's a wonderful setting at the State War Memorial. Um, there will be roads closed, but please don't forget your, your local uh, ceremony if there is one. Um, oh, that's right. Support your local and that, uh, your local ex service organisation or council or whoever's running it, and they will be generally a re- uh, starting around the ten thirty quarter to yeah. eleven mark. And it's it's a Saturday, so there'll be fewer people working. Uh, opportunity to go along, pay your respects, look, take your family. Um, walk around some memorials. Yeah, there's some lovely um, memorials there. Go down, go down the precinct on Thomas Parade Ground, along the rock. Oh yeah, along the yeah, walkway. Do that. Oh look, there's uh, plenty to see, yeah. isn't there, in, in that yeah. uh, memorial precinct that we uh, are fortunate enough to uh, to be part of. Uh, the mess will be open. Oh uh, goody, uh, that's the best part. After, after, I, the after I finish packing up. Yeah, after the service, we will have the mess open, uh, and all are welcome. Um, and um, the service, if it's just for people to remember, if it's really, really hot, wear appropriate clothing. Yep. And Hat, yeah, don't rehydrate, stand. hydrate, sunscreen, yeah. and if you need to, move out into the periphery into the, where the shade the is. The shade is, yeah, for yeah. sure. Look, I'll, I'll make some very quick announcements. Pl- yes. The Nell Garcelle on Marion Road is open Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday evenings. Uh, coming up on the 15th of October, get in for your tickets to uh, Groove Brothers and Soul Sister. Uh, wonderful act, so that'll be this Sunday. Uh, buy your tickets at the bar. We've spoken about the Army Museum. And mm. here's a heads up for the Cricket Friendship Game between Afghan interpreter, interpreters and ADF veterans on Sunday the 10th of December at the Kilburn Cricket Club. Uh, yeah. More on our website um, once it's all confirmed. Be a, good, be a good show, that one. Anyway, I'm going to say good afternoon. David, uh, see you next week. We will. Good afternoon. Mm-hmm.